I'm going to show you a tool that lets you look into the future and plan projects and work order assignments. It's called Standard Time, which is a time tracking and project management app. We're going to specifically look at resource allocation. In other words, jobs that are assigned to employees or assembly lines. I'll go over some graphs that tell you if your employees are over allocated, underutilized, or just about right. Sound good? All right, let's take a look. The six windows that you see tiled on the screen here are from a standalone resource allocation app. You can launch that app as many times as you like. I happen to have it open six times here, but you could have it uh, two, four, ten times. It doesn't matter. But each one of those instances will have its own settings. So if you click this, it'll pop open, allow you to set the settings for that application. And then the chart or grid will be based on those settings. So in this case, I'm looking at one employee an entire group of employees, entire company, and I happen to be looking at an availability chart rather than a resource allocation chart. You can also look at grids or manpower charts as well. The information that you're seeing in these charts is coming from standard time and specifically from projects and tasks. So let's switch over to standard time, get a look at that. I've opened up standard time and the wide blue bands that you see here are projects. The actual tasks are under those projects, and those tasks are assigned to either people or groups in the organization. Each task has a starting date, finish date, and it can be displayed on a Gantt chart like this. So that is the information source for those charts that we saw earlier. And if you find over or under allocated situations or situations where you need more manpower than you have available, you can move projects around, assign them to different groups or people, different resources, change their starting and finish dates, and that can allow you to schedule those projects or work orders so that employees have time to do them. So let's switch back and this would then allow you to put these dashboards up on a big screen either on the shop floor or in managers offices and just be able to look out into the future and see choices that your projects, work orders and tasks have on your available resources.